My name is Chris Peterson. I live in northern Wisconsin at Four Cubs Farm. The farm has been in our family since 1877. We have a thousand Holstein cows that are milked with 16 Lely robots. By 98, we had probably 50 cows. And then we went to 200, then to 400, and then to 500, and then to 750. And in 2017, there was a huge fire that started. Within a few hours, that, that whole facility was burnt down. That happened at midday. And by eight o'clock at night, we had all 850 cows out of here. We got 200 cows back about five months later. And that's when we decided to pull the farm into the 21st century by putting in robots instead of going back to a parlor setup. By midnight that night, Ben was already game planning. Milk house is going here. Robots are, are gonna be positioned in the barn this way. Leadstone brought in other individuals from Laley to the farm to expedite getting us robots. And they were great to work with. This was a retrofit, you know, so you have what you have with an existing barn, and they looked to us to try to figure out how we could successfully fit robots into this barn. Cows responded really well to having robots. You know, some of our top producing cows, they're spending 20 minutes, if that, a day milking, where in our old system, there, that was, was not even close to being possible. So there's just a lot more time in the day a cow can be a cow and sit at the water tank drinking, brushing her back, or just laying down in the sand beds. The robots let cows be cows and lets them do what they want to do when they want to do it. So they can eat, sleep, drink, get milked, wander around at their leisure. It was a huge improvement in everything. So instead of managing the cows as a whole herd, we're starting to more manage the cows as individuals in certain instances. And we have all the technology um, with the robots when it comes to the activity monitors and the rumination collars. So we're able to do a better job with breeding and detecting uh, open cows. And we do have a vet come on farm once a month um, to do walkthroughs, but otherwise we do everything ourselves. When it comes to herd health checks, um, I do all of the pregnancy diagnostics on the farm. That was a big savings for us. And that ties into that animal health expense. Pre-robots, our number that we always saw was $250 annualized per cow per year. Since robots, we've been in that 110 to 120 dollars annualized per cow. The production is way up. The cow longevity is way up. A lot of the information the robot gives us gives us clues about the health of the animal and helps us to intervene at an early stage so we can keep that animal healthy. All the data that we get from the callers on the cows go back to the program that breaks down so many different reports we have the data to be able to say this treatment's working or that treatment's not working and we can treat them and make sure they're responding. Having cows last longer on our farm because of the robots, we don't need to raise as many heifers. And so because of that, two thirds of the cows in our milking barn are bred to Angus and Simital Angus beef bulls. Their cull rates are lower, their pregnancy rates are improved, all while doing it with less hired labor. We've been able to keep our cost per dry matter under the industry average because we're getting more production out of the cows. Where we were pre-robots, we were at a 148 feed efficiency. This year alone, we're averaging just shy of a 17 feed efficiency, and we're getting over a six, seven pounds of solids per cow. And it's fun to see that momentum grow, and we've just gotten better over the last couple of years. We have become much more profitable. Such a change and we are very happy that we went with Lely Robots. The people have been amazing. It's just a huge, huge change, and we love it, and they, I think the cows love it.